Good evening and welcome to tonight's Patchaholics Anonymous meeting. Tonight with our opening prayer is David, a two-year member who's in the final stage. David. Hey, right. please join me. Lord, help me to accept that there are some trades I cannot make, some patches that are not worth getting, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. 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 Well, we might as well start off with David, and he can tell his story. Alright, this all happened a couple of years ago. The Lodge released uh, for a few weekends in a row. It was pretty much the same event patch, but there was a different number. Um, but what happened with me, for some reason, I just liked the idea of getting the same patch over and over again. And uh, that really stuck with me. So, I just started collecting and buying them. And I have hundreds of them in my room. They're everywhere. I have enough to cover my walls and make sheets out of them. But I've realized now that it's kind of pointless to have that many of the same patch. So I'm starting to sell them, you know, get rid of them, sell them on eBay, give them to people, anything I can to get them out of my sight, I'm trying to break the addiction. I'm working towards that sixth step, getting rid of them all. And uh, I think I'll be there soon. I do too. Good job. Thank you. Good luck. Good job, Dave. Okay, now we're going to go to John, who has been with us for a couple times now, who is going to tell his story. Hi everybody. Actually, this is my third time being here and, well, it's kind of been a rough road for me. I've been big into eBay now for five years and it just consumes my life. eBay is everything that I do. Ever since I got started five years ago, I just... Always, it started as I would go on eBay once a day to check eBay, see what things were up for auction. Then, then it would progress. To, I'd buy or try to sell something every day. And now it's where I'm going through 300 things a day. You're buying, selling, anything. I'm just going through eBay, checking it 300 times a day, selling and buying stuff. And it's just to the point where all my family, my friends, my scout leaders, everybody's furious at me because I just keep buying and selling all this stuff on eBay. And my boss is getting mad because he found out that I'm really not doing my work when I tell him I am. I'm just on eBay. So I'm really, I'm coming here and I'm trying to change this. I'm in between steps one and two where I've realized my problem, but I'm still trying to find a solution for my problem. So once I find a solution, I can then act on that hopefully. So, but right now I'm in between steps one and two and that's why I'm here so I can find my solution and keep going with that. So hopefully that'll end up working out for me. Good luck, Jack. Thanks. John, John, what's in your pocket? Do you have a patch on you right now? No. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Well, let's get here. And keep pulling on that. Put it away. I'll, I'll give it to you after the That's day. why we're here, yeah. John. It's okay. a learning process. Okay. Okay. Now we have Brian, who's been in phase one for a couple of years now. So, Brian, tell me your story. Hi, guys. As Kyle said, my name is Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hey, how you guys doing? Um, well, I've been in Patch Hawks and Knives now for, well, it's coming on five years. Yeah. And I just can't seem to get past the first step. I mean, I know I have a problem, but I just can't accept it. I mean, everywhere I go, I mean, I go to Conclave, trade patches. NOAC, trade patches. Even lodge events, just so I can go. I don't even want to go for the work. I just go so I can get patches and then trade them. It's that's bad, man. It is. I mean, it's it's a big problem. I mean, I. I it's a vicious system, man. It is so vicious. Just so vicious. I mean, it kills me how hard it is. I mean, you go to places and. There's just patches, and people wanting to trade the patches. And you have your own patches, and they have their patches, and you just you know, want to trade. Uh, all right, Brian, I think that's enough. I'm trying to scare people now. But that's good for tonight, guys. Hope to see everyone next week. And it's been a good meeting. Got a lot done. Have a good time. Thanks. See you guys next month. See you later. See you guys. Hey, Brian, I have a film on patch. You want it? I'll trade you. I know you have a patch on you. You want one? Nobody's looking. I promise. Alright, cool. I didn't have to do work for this. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs>